Welcome to Sphere. I am Price Time, and you're watching Sphere TV. When becoming a liquidity provider, as with Dyson's vaults for Uniswap v3, users must take asset correlation into consideration. I covered this briefly in one of my previous videos, but it is important to understand and easy to explore. Asset or market correlation is simply a measurement of how assets move in relation to one another and it is measured on a scale of negative one to plus one. A positive value indicates a positive correlation between two assets. Plus one is a perfect positive correlation and requires that an asset moves exactly one to one with the other. BTC and wrapped BTC are good examples of plus one correlated assets because they are meant to move identically. A negative value indicates a negative correlation between two assets. Negative one is a perfect negative correlation and requires that an asset be the exact inverse of the other. And then a value of zero indicates no correlation between two assets. When it comes to liquidity provision, the more positively correlated two assets are in their price movement, the less the impermanent loss. Consider USDC and ETH. As a stablecoin, USDC is meant to stay at a value of $1. ETH, on the other hand, is a volatile asset, and its price will move up and down. Over the past year, ETH and USDC have had a correlation of nearly zero, which is exactly what we would expect. No correlation between them. Though swap fee revenue does aim to more than make up for it, this means that an uncorrelated liquidity pair such as USDC and ETH are at risk for a greater degree of impermanent loss. Now consider ETH and Matic. Over the past one year, their correlation coefficient has been 0.8. Another way of saying this is that the price movements of ETH and Matic were 80% correlated over the past year. This is good news for liquidity providers because when assets move together, the impact of impermanent loss is less. We can see this quite clearly by using an impermanent loss calculator. In considering uncorrelated assets like USDC and ETH, if USDC stays the same because it is a stablecoin, but ETH changes in value by 50%, this would result in a negative 2.02% impermanent loss. In considering correlated assets like ETH and Matic, if ETH changes in value by 50%, we can expect, based on the correlation data over the past year, that Matic will also move around 80% in the same direction as ETH. 80% of 50% is 40% dropping the impermanent loss down to only six basis points. However, with Uniswap v3, and when providing liquidity in tight ranges, impermanent loss becomes a far more troublesome issue because the active price range can fall outside of your liquidity's set price range rapidly depending on how tightly your LP's price range is set and on how volatile the asset price changes are. Rebalancing LPs will solidify the impermanent loss, but will then allow you to continue earning concentrated fees within the active price range. We can also use data over the past 24 hours to help us see the more recent price correlation between assets, and think about how that can impact impermanent loss. Over the past 24 hours, we can still see that ETH and USDC have not been correlated as expected, while ETH and Matic have been 64% correlated. This means that depending on your LP's set price ranges, the likelihood of needing to rebalance your Uniswap V3 ETH USDC LP is much greater than the likelihood of needing to rebalance your Uniswap V3 ETH Matic LP. This is because when ETH was moving one direction in price, Matic was also moving that same direction with 64% correlation. Dyson uses on-chain data to automatically set 
rebalance and compound Uniswap V3 LPs in order to optimize yield. This helps to mitigate the impact of impermanent loss by ensuring consistently tight ranges, consistent rebalancing, and consistent LP utilization for swap fee revenue. Still, correlated assets will present less risk of impermanent loss compared to uncorrelated assets. With Dyson's launch coming soon, I strongly encourage you to use these tools to research different assets in order to gain a better understanding of their short and long-term correlation and how that can impact impermanent loss before you provide liquidity. Visit us on Discord to stay up to date on announcements and join our community. This video and channel is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Thanks for watching and always remember that you matter for who you are. Consistent rebalancing and consistent LP utilization